thanks for watching and today I want to tell you a neat application of exponential derivatives just in case you're wondering what they're useful for. For example, we can use it to evaluate the following power series. And by the way, I want to thank the user Rainbow Game for uh, coming up with this idea. I thought it's very neat. I do listen to you. I do read your comments, so don't worry. Um, first of all, I know some people really want to use power series methods. Yeah, you can do it directly. So just in case you're curious how to do this series directly, it's the sum from 1 to infinity of minus 1 to n minus 1 over n of 1 over x to the n. And if you compare this with the beautiful table of power series, which I have here, you notice that it's the same as, in fact, the ln of 1 plus x series, because, uh, except we have a 1 over x. So ln of 1 plus x is that series with x to the n, so in particular, ln of 1 plus 1 over x is that series. That's ln of 1 plus 1 over x. But suppose you didn't know that and you want to do it with exponential derivatives. Here's how you can do it. So let's apply the exponential derivative, so e to the d over dx, of ln of x. On the one hand, again, assuming it's analytic, so let's not quite do it at 0. Let's do it sort of away from 0. This equals to. Uh, ln of x plus 1. Why? Because remember, the beautiful thing we saw in the previous video is that all that the exponential derivative does is it shifts functions by one unit, which I thought was amazing, but apparently in quantum mechanics it's obvious. still think it's cool. I don't know. So on the one hand, so the exponential derivative shifts ln of x by 1, on the other hand, what is the exponential derivative? By definition, it's just the power series of e to the x, but with derivatives everywhere. So it's the sum, if you want, from n, from 0 to infinity, of dn ln of x over n factorial. Now, the zeroth term does nothing to ln of x. So let's separate it out. So it's d0 of ln of x, which is just ln of x, plus the sum of a bunch of derivatives. So sum from 1 to infinity of dn ln of x over n factorial. Now, let's try to see a pattern. So d ln of x is 1 over x. Okay, uh, d squared ln of x is minus 1 over x squared d cubed ln of x, well, it's minus minus 2, so 2 over x cubed. Okay. And you can continue this way, but already notice the pattern. First of all, so for dn ln of x, well, we alternate signs, except it's plus minus plus, so it becomes minus 1 to the n minus 1. Okay. And then here, for d ln of x, we have 1 over x. d squared ln of x, we have x squared. d cubed ln of x, we have x cubed. So x to the n. And lastly, notice 2, it's really a 3 minus 1 factorial. 1 is 2 minus 1 factorial. And if you continue, you get like 4 minus 1 factorial. So really n minus 1 factorial. So this is an explicit expression for ln of x. So it's ln of x plus the sum from n from 1 to infinity of minus 1 to the n minus 1 over x to the n, n minus 1 factorial over n. And that's just ln of x plus the sum from 1 to infinity of, well, we still have minus 1 to the n minus 1. And we still have the x to the n. And well, n minus 1 factorial over n factorial, that's just 1 over n. Because this is just the products of n minus 1 going down to 1. This is the product of n from n going down to 1. 
And lo and behold, that's precisely the sum that we want, right? This, the sum that we want is this. So what do we have? We have that this exponential derivative, which is ln of x plus 1, equals to ln of x plus the sum that we want. So the sum that we want is ln of x plus 1 minus ln of x. So the sum from n from 1 to infinity of minus 1 to the n minus 1 over x to the n times 1 minus n is ln of x plus 1 minus ln of x, which you can write as ln of x plus 1 over x, and that's ln of 1 plus 1 over x, Woo! which is precisely what agrees with uh, calculus. And and of course, you can choose other power series and evaluate other sums like that. So I think it's very, very neat. And yeah, if you want to see more math, you know, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.